He's tamed a little bird, how funny he is. How dare he say that to Mr. Hong? Is he out of his mind? He's tamed a little bird, what a joke. Yun Tao, you're weirder than I thought. How dare he say so confidently that he's tamed a little bird? He has no shame at all. Be quiet. What did you say you've tamed? I've tamed a bird, an odd bird. I know it sounds ridiculous. But I've really tamed an odd bird, it's just that I came in a hurry so I haven't tested its loyalty. I'll call it over so you can have a look at it. What? I thought he was joking, he's really tamed a bird. But what's the use of this bird? Can this be called a savage beast? You didn't catch it from some birdcage, did you? According to the Beast Hall's rules, you must tame a savage beast stronger than yourself in the second round. This little bird. I can kill it with a slap. Are you serious about bringing it to the test? I am serious. Although this bird looks small, its strength is not bad, and it flies extremely fast. It must be a kind of savage beast. Enough, Yun Tao. Do you think the Beast Hall is your Hanwu kingdom? A place where you can mess around. How dare you openly defy the beast trainer responsible for the test. And how dare you bring a fucking little bird to the test. Mr. Hong, this. This odd bird is really a savage beast at the acupoint opening stage. I'm no match for it. Are you done? Yun Tao, did you not hear Mr. Hong? Mr. Hong told you to fuck off. Don't make a fool of yourself here. You've disgraced our beast trainers. You don't have the ability. So you shouldn't have taken this beast trainer test. How dare you brag here? If you passed, wouldn't that mean that anyone can become a beast trainer by buying a bird? Mr. Hong. Have I not made myself clear? Get out. I don't want to say it again. Do you have to embarrass yourself? Yun Tao. Since all the beast trainers in the beast hall are such fools. You don't have to take this test. What's he talking about? How dare he mock the beast trainer? Does he have a death wish? Even though I've been treated unfairly that I may not pass this test, I can come next year. But what Mr. Zhang said will completely offend the Beast Hall, if I want to take this test again. What did you say? You don't follow the rules and don't know how to distinguish savage beasts, and you jump to conclusions based only on your own subjective judgment. Aren't you a fool? Is he lecturing Mr. Hong? Who is that guy? Even leader Fong wouldn't talk like that, would he? Are you saying I don't follow the rules and don't know savage beasts? Gosh, Mr. Hong is angry. I have been beast trainer for 37 years, tamed 24 savage beasts, and taught 18 students, three of whom became official beast trainers. I don't think I know much about beast taming, but I would never talk nonsense. How dare you say that about me? If you can't give me a reason, I won't spare you no matter who you are. What, you don't want to correct your mistakes, and you even want to hit me? Mr. Zhang, this is not Tianxian Kingdom here, you'd better lay low. Mr. Zhang, you know, this is the Beast Hall, where there are thousands of savage beasts, and even the lowest level of theirs is the acupoint opening stage. Even a master stirring up trouble here won't be able to escape. What's going on here? Mr. Wang. Leader Fong. Mr. Liu. It's Leader Fong and two two-star beast trainers, Mr. Liu and Mr. Wang. Didn't Mr. Hong say they had some matters? Why did they come? This guy is challenging the prestige of the beast hall. He's doomed, Yun Tao is doomed too. Yeah, the Hanwu kingdom is just a tier 2 kingdom, they can't afford to piss off the beast hall. You said that Hong Fong broke the rules and didn't know savage beasts. Do you know that this is a doubt about his ability? and you will bring him into disrepute. I have to question him, because he's wrong. As for his disrepute, it's not my concern. And, may I ask, if you know the name of this bird? Name. Isn't this just a bony bird? It's rare indeed, but I once read a detailed description of it in a book. It's called Bony Bird. This bird has an extra bone in its head than ordinary birds, which is used to adjust its flight direction. It's a pet bird and has no fighting ability, so of course it's not a savage beast. Yes, the bony bird has a black back, a red beak, and golden claws. It has a hollow feather on its head that allows it to make a clear sound in the wind when flying. 
So its loud singing comes not from its throat but from the feather in its head. Hall Master, in your opinion, this bird is. This should be a bone bird. A bone can be clearly seen in the head, slanting out. According to you, when it flies, it makes a sound. Did you hear it just now as it flew around? This. This strange bird has just flown back and forth several times, without making any sound. The claw of this strange bird is gold, but there is a red dot at the center of its claw. Furthermore, there is a crown at the top of its head. There are three bones instead of one, and it has soundless feathers. If it's not a bone bird, then what is it? It is an ancient beast, ancient lightning cloud sparrow. Ancient beast. There are many types of savage beasts, but the ancient savage beasts are definitely one of the most powerful in their bloodline. Countless beast tamers traveled all over the mountains, rivers, forests, investigated all kinds of legends and ancient myths, but couldn't find any traces. It actually appeared here, and got tamed by Yun Tao. This can't be true, even if this one is not a bone bird, it can't be an ancient beast. They are already extinct. The ancient bloodline has ceased to exist, even if there are still ancient beasts out there, they must have attained the level of spirit beasts. How can it be just an ordinary savage beast? Even if you wish to escape from punishment, you shouldn't spout lies. You say that this strange bird is an ancient beast, what a joke, my tiger-headed beast must be a primordial beast then. It's useless to say more. If I'm not mistaken, the beast hall should have a way to detect the bloodline, right? It doesn't matter if you don't believe it, check it out and you'll know. During ancient times, the spiritual energy in the air was violent and harsh. The blood was like boiling water, ready to boil at any moment, with destructive power. If it is truly an ancient beast, other savage beasts won't be able to withstand the power of a single drop of its blood. Master Lu, please get the spirit rat ready for testing. Do we really need to use the spirit rat? We can't miss it if it really is an ancient beast. If not, we will follow the rules of the hull. Yes. Okay, here is our beast hull's test, with a spirit rat of savage beast blood. All you have to do now is give a drop of the bird's blood to the rat and then we shall find out if it is really an ancient beast. Come on, now it's your turn to prove yourself. What the? This spirit rat had been sucking the blood of high-level savage beasts for years, and was immune to the blood of ordinary savage beasts. Could it be that, this bird? Hall Master, why did it suddenly die? Because the bird is an ancient beast. What? Senior Zhang. What, an ancient beast? Did I, actually judge Yun Tao, who tamed an ancient beast, with a fail? Is it really an ancient beast? Then did I just mock an ancient beast? I also just said it's a shitty bird. It's worthless. We're not going to be implicated in the evaluation, are we? Even Hall Master Fong didn't recognize it, but this guy talked calmly without any fear. Where did he come from? How can such an incredible figure appear in such a small place as the Tianxian Kingdom? The blood of ancient beasts. The blood of the ancient beasts is like boiling water. It contains destructive powers. So, no normal savage beast can absorb the blood of an ancient beast. Just like this test spirit rat. Ancient lightning cloud sparrow possesses the ability to absorb lightning to awaken its bloodline. Its claws are harder and sharper, and can easily tear through ordinary weapons. Not to mention the acupuncture realm, I am afraid that even a strong person of the grandmaster realm will be torn in half with its claws. Beastmaster Hong. You say it has no combat ability, you made a mistake at the beginning. As a beast tamer, is this how you assess the savage beasts? I? What gave you the confidence to let you directly judge Yun Tao to be unqualified and tell him to scram? It's my negligence. Fortunately, I knocked it out on the way here and formed a book. Originally, Beast Master Hong reviewed the exam, took it a little seriously, and humbly asked for advice, so I said it directly. But, they all pointed out that he was wrong, and he was so angry that he wanted to make a move. Since it's our Beast Hall's fault, we won't shirk responsibility, we'll give Yun Tao another shot at the assessment. 
As for Beast Master Hong who did not take the exam seriously, due to his negligence and dereliction of duty, he will be sent to the Beast Forest to raise savage beasts, and for three years, he's not allowed to step out from that place. Isn't that, too cruel, with his few words, having Beast Master Hong sent to the Beast Forest for three years and not be allowed to go out? Yeah. What's this? The Beast Forest. Is this guy's punishment heavy? As far as I know the Beast Forest is a place where savage beasts are raised, and it is similar to a pigsty. It is usually visited by apprentices, it's already a very harsh punishment for a Beast Master of one star. Man, it is difficult to get a star tamer. With all your efforts, how can you do such a reckless thing in the evaluation of students? It's all because of that Yun Tao said he trained a bird. Then I didn't know what happened. Trained a bird. Okay, Yun Tao, I will re-examine you for the second evaluation. Such a precious savage beast, but Senior Zhang gave it to me at will and let it recognize me as its master. Okay, this time, we should be able to have a fair evaluation. When the tamer evaluation is over, I must find a way to break the master-servant relationship with it and give it back to Senior Zhang. You can recognize the ancient lightning cloud sparrow, that's some knowledge and experience right there, you must be a tamer too. No. You're not, then how do you know that this is an ancient bird? And to have the ancient bird so close to you? Well, maybe I'm just a good judge of character. 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 If such a thing can tame savage beasts, who needs to work so hard to become a tamer? There is nothing I can do if you don't want to tell me, but if you tell me how to catch the ancient lightning cloud sparrow and get its favor, I can trade it for a jade talisman from two star master teacher Jiang Xu's course. Two star master teacher Jiang Xu. I heard that he is the most incredible master teacher in the Tianwu kingdom, reaching two star pinnacle. Furthermore, he is the person in charge of Tianwu Master Tea Share Pavilion. His jade token is invaluable, even if it's just for two hours. Not interested. Not interested. Have you thought the matter through? 40. What? A loyalty level of 40? Is this? Advanced taming. Inceptive taming, with loyalty levels between 15 and 30, allows the tamer to summon the beast at will. Advanced taming. The loyalty of the beast is between 31 and 45, and a contract is made between the tamer and the beast. How did Yun Tao do it? Ancient beasts that have been tamed at an elem entry level are already very impressive, but with a loyalty level of 40, this means that they have already exceeded the level of just following and have signed a contract. You, how did you do it? Well, it's fine if you don't feel comfortable telling it here and now. It's okay, actually. It's Senior Zhang Xian's efforts, I don't know what he said to the bird. Threatened this ancient sparrow, and this fellow submitted immediately. Threatened. Is that, is that what it really takes to tame ancient beasts? The ancient beast has never been tamed before and no one knows how to tame it. I thought it would be just like any other beast, requiring all kinds of care, attention, and friendship to succeed. Yet I didn't expect the possibility to use the simplest and most brutal method. This, I wonder where this senior Zhang Xian that you are talking about is, can I pay him a visit later? Visit. There's no need to visit, that senior Zhang Xian right there. He is senior, Zhang Xian. Yes, even though he is young, his beast taming skills are real. The golden iron leopard in the beast pen was recently tamed by him, and from the time it was spotted, he took less than 10 minutes to tame it. Less than 10 minutes to tame a golden leopard. Taming the leopard in such a short time, what was the method used, mating calls, flattery. Or displaying power, or something else. Master Feng, Master Lu, these methods are useless. Senior Zhang Xian just beat up the golden body iron leopard, and it submitted. Beat it up. Could it be that the golden leopard has a fetish for masochism? Yes, I was actually planning to tame this golden iron leopard, but I underestimated its strength and almost got killed. It was Senior Zhang Xian who made an appearance and saved us, and after beating the leopard, it submitted to him. The leopard even took the initiative to sign a contract, to be honest, the senior was a bit reluctant at the time. In order to tame the savage beasts, we have to dispatch human and material resources from our respective kingdoms, and we have to invest countless amounts of money for it, all of this just for taming at the primary level. This guy is lucky, 
he just beat up the beast and it was completely tamed by him. When did beast taming become so easy? But, not only is he able to tame beasts just by beating them up, but also he can recognize ancient beasts. Regardless of the method used, he's indeed a genius at taming beasts. Maybe. The evaluation scores have already been released, how long are these guys going to keep gossiping for? By the way, is he an official beast tamer? He hasn't even taken the test yet, maybe he just learned the skills of beast taming as a hobby. He hasn't taken the test. That's great, ask him if he's willing to take the test, if he's willing, I'll personally host the examination for him. Taking the beast tamer exam, I'll ask him then. With his special beast taming skills, once he becomes a beast tamer, he will definitely shine and this branch of the beast hall will also be able to ride on his coattails. Then this branch of the beast hall branch can perhaps have its name known throughout the lands. But the most important thing is that if this person is really the same as the rumors say, being able to tame beasts by beating them up. Then if he were to join that competition, he would surely secure first place. Senior, Hallmaster Phone wants me to ask you if you are willing to take the beast tamer evaluation, if so, then he is willing to host the exam for you personally. The beast tamer evaluation. I have no problems as long as there are enough books, but, according to what Yin Tao said, it takes more than half a month to take the test, and we don't know how many procedures I have to go through before the exam. The matter of the poison in my body must be resolved as soon as possible, I really don't have much time to waste here. Let's forget it. This is a great opportunity. Moreover, if you become an official beast tamer, you will not only be able to choose your own beast, but you will also be able to ride the beasts in the beast hall without paying any fees, and you can even change mounts at any beast hall at will. No fees. It will all be free. Yes, official tamers, have this privilege. Who cares if it's free or not, no need to talk about it. So, how do you take the test? Why don't I, give it a try. Okay. Give it a try. Give it a try, do you think that becoming a beast tamer is a joke, by succeeding in taming 2SA vague beasts, do you really think that beast taming is easy? Don't be so agitated, I don't know what teacher Zhang is capable of. But 9 out of 10 times, anything this man decides to do comes true, so we should just wait and see what happens. Wait and see what happens. I heard that you haven't taken the evaluation yet. But it doesn't matter, seeing as you were able to subdue a savage beast at the Acupoint realm and recognize a Yundian ancient beast, it means that the beast taming apprenticeship test is nothing to you and can be exempted. But if you don't take the apprenticeship test, it'll be hard to test whether you know how to tame beasts. So when the official tamer test is held, I will add the apprentice theoretical exam to it. Wait, before that, do you have any books on beast taming here? Can I take a look at them first? The library over there is full of books on beast taming, and only apprentice beast tamers are allowed to read them, but if you want to read them, I can give you special permission. I have a habit of reading books to regulate my state of mind before attempting anything important, so I may have to trouble you. So it's like that, okay, the library is just over there. Beast Master Lu would you please take Brother Zhang to the library? Yes. Thank you. This kid, what's wrong with him? He is reading the books just before the test. There must be something wrong with his brain, otherwise, what is the use of reading at this time? Reading now. This guy. The last time I saw him at the library of the academy he was flipping through the books like crazy. Could it be that? He possesses the state of insight with a heart of tranquil water that requires a soul depth of 10 and above, if so, he would gain photographic memory, then, the moment he flips through a book, he would remember the content clearly until his death. This. There's too many books. Even if I just flip through the books, without three days and three nights, I won't be able to finish it. I thought it would be very easy to become a beast tamer, and that I will finish in no time, but to think there's so many books that I need to go through. I'm afraid even if I don't go crazy, Master Fong and the others waiting outside will go crazy. If I don't finish these books, the library won't be able to collect them, and if I don't have the knowledge, I won't be able to pass the test. If so, I wouldn't be able to enjoy the free rental services. The Library of Heaven's Path allows me to view the information and flaws of an object just by touching it, if I were to touch this bookshelf. 
Will the content of the books on it appear as well? Let's give it a try. It appeared. I'm a genius, let's take a look first. The third row of bookshelves in the library of the Beast Hall branch of Xian Luo Mountain Range, made of camphor wood. Made by a craftsman, it has 37 years of. This is not what I want. The hell who invented this broken library. It doesn't even tell you how to use it properly. Wait, no, if just touching it with your fingers counts, then. These books, even if I don't flip through them, as long as I touch them, can I still record them down? Let's try it. Defect. Sure enough, it works. In this way, it is more than a hundred times faster than flipping. Master Lu, are the test papers ready? Yes, it covers hundreds of beasts, no more or less. His beast taming skills are truly exceptional if he can even answer these questions. His knowledge must not be too bad, since he is able to identify the ancient lightning cloud sparrow. Indeed, our beast hall often ranks last in the competition because of our remote location and lack of talents. If a genius were to appear in our beast hall and win the competition, we might be able to successfully advance to become a three-star beast tamer as part of the rewards. By the way, what books is Zhang Xian reading in the library? I did look at it a while ago, but he crouched in front of the bookshelf for a while. Then he started running along the bookshelf, running, running, running through the library. Is this his way of adjusting his state before exams? No, I have to go and see. There are too many valuable books in the library to be damaged. You're back. Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you ready for the evaluation? Right. He is skipping the apprentice examination and going straight for the beast tamer examination. This is the privilege given only to the topmost geniuses. Even Miss Mo, you didn't enjoy such a benefit. I would like to see if the fellow would dare to remain in this place once he fails. He just happened to tame a few savage beasts by luck. Do you think he possesses true capabilities? I think that he will fail for sure. What's wrong with you, senior, if you don't feel well, why don't we take a break and retake the exam tomorrow? No problem, it's just that I'm a little exhausted. This consumed too much chi to use the heavenly path body technique to make it within time limit. If you're okay, then let's get started. This is the exam paper. The exam paper. Damn it, I'm now too depleted of my true chi and physical strength. I don't think I can even hold a pencil for the exam paper. Master Fong, Master Lu, I'm in a hurry, can I choose to debate? Debate? You, what did you say? The debate may be convenient, but you know it's the hardest part of the theory exam. Yes, senior, when answering through writing, when one were to write wrongly, they are able to change their answers. However, a debate is not like that. When you hear a question, you have to answer it, there is no time to think about it, let alone a chance to change it. And the moment you make a mistake, you will be disqualified. You should think it through. You aren't allowed thinking time during a debate. And the moment you make a mistake, you will be disqualified. I know, but I don't really have much time right now, so keep the debate simple. Since you are persistent, let's start. This. Tell me about the defining characteristics of the gold armored steel fong beast. The gold armored steel fong beast covered in golden scales, is extremely defensive and is. This beast exam won't be another long story right? This, exactly right. The river worm's living habitat. Why are the three-stream river and the erudite bird unable to coexist? Correct. Exactly correct. Sure enough, this sentence is very good. No wonder he can recognize the ancient bird, I'm afraid his knowledge of the basics of beast taming is far better than ours. This is impossible, a quick answer, and no mistake. That's all, is it over? Hall Master Fong, did I pass the first level? Yes, you've answered all of the questions correctly, you've passed the first test. You can proceed to the second level, taming a savage beast, which will take half a month, as long as you can achieve the inceptive taming, you will pass. Half a month. That's too long, do you keep any untamed savage beast here? Can you allow me to tame it? Allow you to tame it? Does this guy know what he's talking about? Little brother Zhang, every savage beast is very precious, and only those that are tamed can enter the beast hall. Otherwise, no one can afford to cause turmoil. 
That's why there are usually no untamed savage beasts in the beast hall. Is that so? Right, can I borrow that eagle beast? What? Borrowing my savage beast to tame, how in the world did he think of such an idea? A tamer's affection for beasts is no different from his family and his wife. This guy is asking to borrow a beast that is already tamed. What's the difference between that and borrowing someone's wife for a while? Borrow, borrow your head. Borrow a beast. Why don't you go to someone else's house and borrow their wife to play with? How can anyone with a little bit of beast taming knowledge say such things like you? What does borrowing a savage beast have to do with a man's wife? Miss M.O.U., I think that it's a good idea to lend your eagle beast for him to tame. What are you saying? You've already tamed the eagle, and its loyalty has reached 30, it is absolutely impossible for him to tame it. This guy thinks he knows all about savage beasts, so let's take this opportunity to show him the difference between theory and practice. That's right, even a two-star beast tamer like Hall Master Phone can't tame a beast that already has a master. He's not even a beast tamer, and he's talking out of his ass. What a joke. This. That's right, although trying to tame a savage beast that has recognized its master is harder than reaching the sky. It's a good opportunity to see how he tames it. You wish to borrow my golden winged eagle. There it is. If you can tame it, I will allow you to have it. But if you can't, you'll have to. Really? If I tame this eagle, does that count as a pass? This, yes, it can be considered as a pass. I haven't finished speaking yet. I'm not finished yet, if you can't tame, I'll sue. That's it, let's get started. Hey you. Little eagle, your master has already lent you to me, you should hurry up and submit to me. If you get tamed obediently, I can even help you break through. No. The iron-backed golden-winged eagle is enraged. You think you're right, let's see how you do it. If talking doesn't help, then I'm sorry about this. Did he just have a killing intent? Yeah, did this guy really try to kill the iron-backed gold and winged eagle with that blow? Can such a threat tame a savage beast? Stop it. Miss M.O.U., don't panic. This should be Senior Zhang Xian's beast pummeling taming method. Beast Pummeling Taming Method. This is the name that I came up with. Every time Elder tames a beast, he would first beat it up. It seems that he's doing the same this time as well. Looks like this time is no exception. Can he really tame the savage beast like that? I'm afraid he'll only incur the wrath and resentment of the iron-backed golden-winged eagle. What if the iron-backed golden-winged eagle is beaten away without being tamed? What is this? Isn't the iron-backed golden-winged eagle supposed to be an extremely arrogant beast? Yes. But this, why was it beaten up? I climbed to the top of a mountain to tame it, found snow water and bathed it. I killed a snake of the acupuncture realm and made it dinner. After all that it just promised to come with me for the test but did not submit to me. But what does it mean to be submissive after being slapped? Miss M.O.U., don't panic. I think that the beast is just flustered after being beaten up, so it is feigning submission, it'll probably retaliate in a short moment. Indeed, indeed, a savage beast like the iron-backed golden-winged eagle already has its own intelligence. It must have thought that it wasn't a match for the fellow, so it decided to pretend to submit to Zhang Xian and look for another opportunity to exact vengeance. Miss M.O.U., how is it? My words are true, right? This is Senior Zhang Xian's method of beating and taming. If a savage beast is beaten by him, it will submit willingly. You, don't talk. You think we are dumb. After a real beating, the iron-backed golden-winged eagle submitted. I don't get it either. It's not like we haven't done this before. We tried taming savage beasts by beating them up before, but we've all failed. So how in the world did he succeed? Hall Master Fong, Beast Master Lu. Am I considered to have passed now? This. Don't rush. First do the loyalty test and see if you've passed. Try it. Luckily, when it attacked me, it formed a book and I found its flaws. I used my true chi to help it purify its bloodline. I didn't expect my heavenly Tao true chi to have a great effect on the advancement of savage beasts. In the future, it will be difficult for any savage beast not to submit unless it's given the heavenly Tao. Miss M.O.U., don't worry, 
the iron-backed golden-winged eagle was beaten into submission and must have very poor loyalty. At most it won't exceed 30. So if it's less than 30, it may not be impossible to tame it back in the future. Indeed, how loyal can a savage beast who was tamed through brute force be? Does this even need to be said? This. Shut up, both of you. See the results before you say anything. What's the result? Complete submission, the highest realm possible. In the first round of the theoretical examination, you passed the debate without making any mistakes. In the second round, you managed to tame an iron-backed golden-winged eagle with a loyalty level of 45. I now declare that Zhang Xian has passed the beast tamer examination and that he is officially a one-star beast tamer. Wait a moment. With tamer status, I can ride a flying savage beast for free. What's wrong? Misimo. I disagree with the results. I think he failed the examination. He isn't qualified to become an official beast tamer. For the beast tamer examination, one has to tame a savage beast stronger than him. Given how he was able to defeat the eagle easily, his cultivation realm is most likely higher than it. Thus, he only tamed the iron backed golden winged eagle, which is weaker than himself, so he shouldn't pass. That, it's true. If you want to pass the test one has to tame a stronger savage beast than themselves, and everyone else has followed this rule. What is this? You mean to say, I am unqualified because the savage beast has a cultivation realm lower than mine? Yes. Then if this iron-backed golden eagle is not an acupoint realm beast but a half-step grandmaster, do I pass? Of course. If that iron-backed golden eagle can become a half-step grandmaster beast. I'll give it to you. Then I will thank you in advance. All right, no need to hold it in. Is it preparing to break through? No. This is bloodline transmutation. Bloodline transmutation. What's that? A bloodline transmutation happens when a spiritual beast eats a treasure or when it encounters a fortuitous event, allowing its bloodline to be purified and raised to a higher level. Unlike blood purification, which allows the beast to just break through, Bloodline transmutation is even more exaggerated and completely deviates the beast from its original bloodline. This is an extremely rare event. Isn't bloodline transmutation something that only happens in textbooks? How can it happen in real life? Yeah. Plus, how can it be possible to trigger a bloodline transmutation by hitting it? Even if it's possible, what are the chances that we get to witness it? That's impossible. I investigated this iron-backed golden eagle very thoroughly, it's already mature, and has not eaten any treasures so to speak. Under normal circumstances, its strength can no longer increase, much less undergo a bloodline transmutation. There's no way that it can break through from getting hit. Truly worthy of being senior Zhang, as long as he hits them, any beast will transcend its bloodline. At first I thought it was a coincidence, but even the eagle is undergoing a transmutation now. What did you say? So how about now? Do I pass? Pass. But. I must ask Beast Tamer Zhang. May I know? You want to ask why the eagle would suddenly undergo transmutation and breakthrough right? Yes. Easy, I used the blood of the ancient thunder sparrow as bait. Then, I gave it a little assistance and it naturally broke through. As for using my true qi to help in the beast's breakthrough, it's better to not reveal it. Anyway, there are precedents for swallowing ancient bloodlines and then breaking through. The ancient bird, as an ancient beast, has an ancient bloodline. Although the eagle is huge in size, it is also a kind of bird, the two may also be able to communicate. And if they think about trying it in the future, just don't blame me if the beasts eat themselves to death. I see. We can try it next time too. So, I've passed the test right. I want to go to the Honglian Mountains and I need a flying beast. What kind of beast do you think is the most suitable? Although I've become a beast tamer and read a lot of books, I've never actually flown a flying beast before. How far can it fly and how many days it takes to get there? So I'd better ask the professionals. Honglian Mountain. The Tianwu Kingdom is tens of thousands of kilometers from here and it will take about half a month to travel on this iron-backed golden-winged eagle that you have just tamed. Half a month. I heard that the Beast Hall has a lightning beast that is extremely fast and can travel 10,000 miles in a day. Can't it get there in just a few days? 
Yes, the lightning beast does indeed have an extremely fast speed and can travel thousands of miles a day, but there are only two beast riders who can coach them in the entire beast hall, one of which has already flown to the Chenian kingdom, and the other one. The other one is very sick and cannot even stand up, let alone fly. Hallmaster Fong and the others invited Grandmaster Qin Yang of Beiwu Kingdom to diagram, nose and find a way to treat. That is also the reason why we weren't able to make it for the examination and had Beast Tamer Hong stand in for us. Who is this Grandmaster Qin Yang? Is there no difference between doctors for humans and beasts in this world? As soon as its illness is cured, we can lend it to you for a trip to the Honglian Mountains. It's just that, a ride on a Grandmaster Realm Beast costs a lot of money. So be prepared. Costs a lot. I thought, I thought I could ride for free as long as I'm a beast tamer. You can ride for free when you become a master beast tamer, but only on beasts below the grandmaster level. You must be a two-star beast tamer to be able to ride a grandmaster realm beast for free. Only a two-star beast tamer can ride for free, why didn't you say so earlier? How about? You guys tell me your conditions and I'll try to take the two-star tamer test. Try to take the test. Most people took the beast tamer test because their capability and strength had met the basic requirements, and they hoped to receive recognition. Yet, this fellow was doing it just so that his ride would be free. To think it took me a year to finally become a one star tamer. And this guy beat up the eagle I had to treat like an ancestor just to tame, and he succeeded in the one star test with it. But not only was he not satisfied, he even wanted to attempt for two stars. This is something others can't do even if they work themselves to death, but he's just treating it as a game. For the two-star tamer test, you need Hall Master, not good. Grandmaster Qin Yang got into an accident. I've only been away for a short while, why are both the beast and the person hurt? What's wrong with you, Grandmaster Qin Yang? Beast Master Wang, what the hell is going on here? After my preliminary diagnosis, I can tell that this iron-toothed howling beast has a rampant hot energy in its body. From time to time, it even looks up to the sky and growls, I think it wants to court a mate. The iron-toothed howling beast is a flying savage beast that has reached the Grandmaster Realm even before adulthood. There are not more than two in the entire Xian Lu mountain range. More importantly, with its speed, even if you find it, how can you catch and tame another one in a short period of time? If a mate is not found soon, it could even be life-threatening. I beg Grandmaster Qingyang to think of other ways, as long as he can save the howling beast. In fact, there is a very simple way to solve this. That is, to cut it off. That's what happened. He's unconscious now. If we want to do it, we need to castrate it now. Is there no other solution? I once heard that quack doctors harm people, but I didn't believe it. It looks like I was wrong. You? What did you say? I mean, if you're treating a beast, shouldn't you go to a veterinarian? Veterinarian? What kind of profession is that? If you did what he said and castrated it, it would have died on the spot. Hall Master Fong, who is this youngster? How dare he talk like that here? He is. Never mind who I am. I had to say some thing because you misdiagnosed the evolution of the howling beast's bloodline as it was being in heat and you wanted to castrate it. Bloodline evolution. How is that possible? Just look at its claws. Howling beasts are different from the usual eagle type savage beast. They have a thick layer of flesh covering their claws, similar to human feet, and under normal conditions, it should be greenish gold in color. However, at this moment, Red veins can be seen within the flesh, this is a sign of bloodline evolution. As for how it obtained the chance of bloodline evolution, I wouldn't know. Could it be? That trip from half a month ago. Do you think I've never seen a savage beast's bloodline evolution? If what you said is true, then why did it pass out instead of breaking through? That's because you've been feeding it the wrong food, causing the two attributes of yin and yang to clash in the howling beast's body and you even said that you were going to castrate it, so it got too angry and it passed out. Stop talking shit here, he. Then, is there a way to save the howling beast? Hall Master Fong. Hall Master. With his knowledge of savage beasts, he might have another way. 
As long as the yang attribute in its body is activated and stabilized, evolution will happen naturally. However, it may require the cooperation of an alchemist. Senior Zhang, Miss MOU is an official alchemist. She should be able to help. What do I need to do? It shouldn't be a problem for me. Can you make pills? You? What are you implying? I'm a one-star alchemist so of course I know how to make pills. Have you ever seen an alchemist who doesn't know how to make pills? Yes, I have. I thought you're also an alchemist who can only discuss pill recipes and can't refine them. Discuss pill recipes. That's something that can only be done by a master alchemist who has mastered the art of alchemy to a certain extent. Each and every one of those seniors are astonishingly talented and you're saying they can't make pills. Don't joke around. I'm one of those seniors you're talking about, and also one who doesn't know how to make pills. You, you're kidding me right? As soon as I got first place in beast taming, you ran back to tame my savage beast and became an official beast tamer. Just when I thought that I could brag about my accomplishments in alchemy, you took out your alchemist badge and said that you passed the examination through pill debate. I just wanted to quietly show my talent but why is it so difficult? Since Miss MOU can refine pills, then I'll have to trouble Hall Master Phone to prepare the following ingredients. One 30 years old blazing young herb and one or two 15 years old young fire leaves. And blazing young herb, young fire leaf. These ingredients. You, don't tell me you want me to refine. The scorching young pill. That's right. Are you kidding me? The scorching young pill is a second grade peak level medicinal pill and I am only a one star alchemist. Wouldn't it fail? Don't worry, I will guide you. As long as you know how to use a pill furnace and can control the temperature of the flame. It's actually very simple. Use a pill furnace, control the flame temperature, very simple. Is making pills really that easy? Making pills isn't as simple as 1 plus 1 equals 2. It's all about real-time control of the pills and furnace fire. Not only that, I've only just reached the first star this year and he wants me to refine a second grade peak level medicinal pill. Where does this guy get the confidence? If you don't think you're up for the task, you can find an apprentice. It's hard to find a one-star alchemist in the beast hall, but finding an apprentice alchemist should be easy. No need, I'll do it. I'm going to see what happens after you fail in helping me make a second grade peak level pill. Then I'll tell you in advance. You must do exactly as I say and you cannot deviate even in the slightest. You're worried for nothing. Alright then. Let's begin. There's such a thing as a mini alchemy furnace. I should go and get one. It has begun. Hall Master, do you think he can succeed? I don't know. But if he beat up a savage beast, he can make it completely tame. So anything is possible. I don't believe it, even if I die. It is extremely difficult to raise the grade of a pill. So for him to guide a first stage alchemist to produce a second grade peak level pill. He must be fooling around. Add the kudzu leaves first and after 7 breaths, add the white beard grass. After 14 breaths. Add the blazing yang herb and use the cloud wave thousand illusionary hands. I've seen the scorching yang pill recipe before. It contains nine kinds of yang attribute pills, similar to nine bombs. Even if there are neutralizing herbs, if the timing is not right it will explode on the spot. I've already put in five yang attribute ingredients and I'm more than halfway through the refinement process. But the furnace is still running without any signs of fluctuation. In other words, there were no mistakes or omissions in the steps and timing of placing the ingredients. It's all perfect. Don't get distracted. Quickly follow the steps I just said. Shit. The furnace is going to explode. A furnace explosion. Did it fail? The furnace exploded. What will happen now? A furnace explosion is the most terrifying thing that can happen in the process of refining a pill. Once a furnace explodes, the full furnace of medicine is destroyed, but losing the medicines isn't the important part. No matter how small the furnace is, the explosion will have a huge impact. If a furnace explodes, not only will the alchemist get hurt, but even the people nearby. Stay calm, and don't panic. I. You definitely can't stop. If you stop now, the furnace will definitely lose control and explode. What? Are you scared? If I had known, 
I wouldn't have come to you, even an alchemy apprentice wouldn't have ended up like this. I'm not scared, I just… Shut up, just tell me what to do next. So what if the furnace explodes, it's still better than retreating and being laughed at by him. I only said two simple sentences and she's already angry, this temper. Throw the rest of the white sun leaves and muddy yang vines in. All of it. I already can't control the power anymore and you still want me to add yang attribute herbs. Who does alchemy like that? This guy shouldn't still be trying to get revenge, and he is deliberately trying to harass me. Don't hesitate, quick. Alright. So what if I die? Even a serious injury is better than being mocked by this guy. Everybody, get behind me. Continue. Double the firepower. It's over. Miss M.O.U. Zhang Xian. You. I didn't expect this rude guy. To actually block all of the impact for me. Beast Master Zhang, are you okay? Yup, I'm fine. Miss M.O.U., are you okay? It's good that you're fine, if the pill can't be refined. I'll send someone to the Beiwu Kingdom now, to find Master Wang Xing to take action. Hall Master Feng, you should have called on the Wang Xing clan master of the Beiwu Kingdom long ago. This guy, he's giving instructions on how to refine pills, and pretending to be very good at it, and watch what happened. Not only did he blow up the furnace, he almost killed Miss Emoyu. That's right, alchemy is not a child's game. Does he really think he's a famous teacher? Even if he was a famous teacher, he wouldn't dare to instruct a one-star alchemist to make a second-grade pill. Shut up. It's my fault that the pill didn't succeed. I'll try making it again. Thank you for standing in front of me and blocking the force of the explosion. Miss Emoyu. You're overthinking it. I wasn't helping you block the power of the furnace. I'm here to collect this finished pill. Finished pill. Could it be that, the refining was successful just now? Success. How is this possible? The pill furnace was blown into pieces, who knows where this pill came from? What's going on? Can you make a pill even if you blow up the furnace? Blowing up a furnace to make a pill, no need to panic, I shouldn't be surprised at this point. Not sure, but… Who says you can't make a pill if you blow up the furnace? The furnace is only a medium for MAC ING pills, it is the fire and the herbs that form the actual pills. And when Miss Emoyu put in a herb just now, she didn't time it right, causing the violent reaction, but… What should we do? Should I tell him now? Let's wait, I don't think it's a good idea to interrupt someone who is talking so seri thusly now. That… At the last moment increasing the firepower, and at the same time as the furnace exploded, the pill was formed. And I was really trying to save the pill just now. You are an alchemist, and the pill will definitely fly towards you when it comes out, so… The best position is in front of you, don't get me wrong, I didn't mean to save you. I am the princess of the Tianwu kingdom, and I will not owe anyone kindness, I said that you saved me, so you did. Tell me what you want, just say it. I'll get paid for saving you. Just say what you want right there, don't come over, exhibitionist. Exhibitionist. Senior Zhang, you should wrap this around your waist first. Shit, I was actually trying to act cool with my butt exposed. I'd better go and change my clothes. By the way, this pill should be boiled in water and this soul ved with true chi. Half-step supreme howling beast. This is, half-step supreme's howling beast. Why does it feel that, there are not many changes in form? Yeah. I would like to ask. How can you be so sure that the pills in the furnace have been refined when the furnace already exploded? It was just luck. There is no luck in alchemy. I hope that Master Zhang can enlighten me, Emo you will be sincerely grateful. I originally wanted to say a few things randomly. You want to learn, for real? Yes. I really want to know and I seriously want to learn. Since you really want to learn, I'll tell you. Although the purpose of alchemy is to fuse herbs to better bring out their medicinal properties, but in the process of refining. The pill furnace that exploded, if I'm not mistaken. This furnace, you have used it to refine pills 18 time. This. 
After calculating, I found that it is enough to persist until it becomes a pill, which is why I let you continue. Do you have any questions? I, no more. The equipment, the herbs, the techniques, the environment and even the state of mind when refining the pills, all of these things are essential. Even the slightest lapse in calculation can lead to failure. I thought it was some kind of skill that allowed him to control the process of alchemy precisely, but now I realize that although it is a skill, it is not something I can learn. There are too many things involved. If there are no more questions, then I will go and rest. Beast Master Zhang, please wait. I heard that you're going to the Honglian Mountains, you're not looking for the Poison Hall right? You know about the Poison Hall. Legend has said that there is a Poison Hall in the Honglian Mountains, but, no one knows where exactly it is. The Honglian Mountains covers thousands of miles, it'll be hard to find it even if a person spends their entire life looking for it. Even if you do find it, the area around the Poison Hall may be filled with poison, you definitely can't get in without a guide. As long as it's there, I will find a way. As long as I can know for sure that the Poison Hall is in this mountain range, it'll be easy to find it. The Library of Heaven's Path can tell the difference, although it can't pinpoint the exact location, it can at least identify the wrong ones. If you really want to go looking for it, I can help. You. Can you find the Poison Hall and do you really have a way to enter? I can't, but I know someone who can. You'll teach me alchemy, and in exchange I'll take you to that perso, how about it? Let's leave first thing in the morning. Alright, it's a deal. By the way. Do you still have a flying beast? You? If not, you can ride the howling beast with me. What's wrong with you? Are you doing this on purpose? You already took away the iron-backed golden-winged eagle that I tamed after much effort. However, if you wish to ride, you will need to pay a fee. The howling firmament beast is my tamed beast. When it was a grandmaster realm, a trip to the Tianwu kingdom costs 20 beast bloodstones. Now that it is stronger and faster, Let's double it, 38 beast blood stones, that's a 20% discount for you. Prepare the sum by tomorrow and pay it in advance. Also, no take backs. Since he took the exam just to get a free ride, I should have known that he was a stingy ghost. And how did he even calculate the 20% discount? Beast Master Zhang, your beast tamer badge is ready. Thanks. By the way, Miss Shen, thank you for taking me to the beast hall, if you don't mind. You can ride the leopard when you go back. I'll give you the leopard as a token of my gratitude. Then I won't stand on ceremony, thank you. How can this miserly man be so generous as to give away the devil-tailed leopard? Is he and teacher Shen? Then we'll say goodbye here, everyone. Poison Hall here I come. If we want to find the Poison Hall, we have to go to Red Lotus City first. Red Lotus City. Yes. It's an ancient city at the foot of the Honglian Mountains, the only way to enter the mountain, and the man I'm talking about is in the city. Is he a poison master? No, he's a medicine king. This is a secret of the kingdom, and I also heard people say it unintentionally. The Hall of Poison is hidden in the mountain range. If you really want to find it, you can only go through the medicine king. Because the poison hall needs a lot of herbs to prepare poisons, they also need to sell the poisons and the only way to buy them is through them. The Red Lotus City has 13 medicine kings, and the one I'm talking about is the most powerful of them all. So if you want to contact the Poison Hall, he is the only one who might know how, it is only that, this great medicine king, is old and ignores the world, he no longer entertains visitors anymore, if you want to see him and let him lead the way to find the Poison Hall, it is basically impossible. Impossible? But you said you'd help me find the Poison Hall. I only said I would help you find this person, but it's none of my business if you can see him or talk to him. I'll make you mad at me, look how mad you are. So it's like that. So, aren't you worried that the person won't meet you? Of course, but I'm more worried about when you will pay me for the ride. You. Why are we getting down here? The howling beast is a bit too eye-catching, and it is likely to cause unnecessary trouble. It would be better if we go in on foot. Red Lotus City. Nether grass, silk cicada, five poison silkworm. All of these medicines have a certain amount of poison in them. Although it is also used in alchemy, these ingredients are rarely used. It seems that there must be a poison master here. By the way, 
Where is the great medicine king you said? He? As far as I know, he's currently sick. Sick? Well, I see that you treated the howling beast before, and you were able to see the symptoms that Master Qingyang was wrong about. So you must be a doctor too. If you want to meet the medicine king, you can go and treat him. Maybe if he is cured, the medicine king will be happy to take you to the poison hall. Why does it feel like she scammed me? Okay. But wait, I need to prepare. Prepare. If I really have to treat someone later, I'll have to use the library of heavenly paths. Let's keep a low profile and change my identity. I'd like to try out the heavenly path disguise technique I've put together. That's. Face morph. Looks like it's still a bit difficult to make a new face out of thin air. Let's use Xiao Qiang's face for now. Okay, let's go. You're not only an alchemist, beast tamer and healer, you actually know how to disguise too. But you don't have to change your appearance to treat people, do you? This is, my master's medical skills are too strange for me to use outside, I don't want to cause trouble for him so. Butler Lu, there's nothing we can do, we will take our leave first. Okay, take care. We are here. 